Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. Today we have another user-contributed pack. This one is a Double Masters pack, uh, provided to us by a uh, close personal friend of mine, a new friend of mine, and yet still a close one, who on the channel goes by Parky. Uh, Parky also uh, contributed the camera that it took me 25 episodes to figure out how to properly focus. So there's that. He's a he's a generous dude, and he's given us a double masters pack to open today for the channel. Double masters not been too kind to me so far on the channel, but we're gonna see. Maybe maybe because this is a gift given out of the kindness of the heart, maybe that will change here today. Maybe maybe the third time will be the charm with double masters. I think this is our third double masters pack on the channel. First of all, we got driving Miss Deadsy here. Uh, a three got a three plus black. A 3-2 vampire, when it dies, return target creature card with converted mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, it's a little, getting a little blurry here. Where's the ideal length here? We got, okay. I kind of messed around with it uh, before this one. Maybe not such a hot idea. We got a clear shot. Uh, the card, not the uh, camera. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, and deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Not a bad little green card there. We got Weapon Surge. That's a fun one. It's got a fun little overload cost. Each creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, and gains first strike until end of turn. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's kind of disgusting for a common. Not going to lie. Heartless Pillage. Red. Nope, this is black. We are on black now. We're on a different color. Target opponent discards two cards. And if you attack this turn, you create a treasure token. And anything that anything that creates a treasure token will make you stand up and take notice. Draw three cards and discard a card. I always like the artwork on that uh, sift. It's really cool. Like the guy is picking a head to to put on for today, and he's chosen number three. I'd like the brain that's behind head number three. Mirror Retriever number two, or not number two, and two converted mana cost of two. Uh, Perhaps we should get used to saying mana value, because that's how it's going to be in Strixhaven. 1-1 uh, one, one mirror, when it dies, you return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Urza's Mine. Oh, hey. Got a little bit of the Urza's Land Cycle here. You add Colorless, and if you control Urza's Power Plant and Urza's Tower, you add two Colorless instead. Mining for Colorless. Bowling for Dollars. Ancestral Blade. That's a that's from Core 20, I think. That's a that's definitely a reprint. We got Dark Steel Citadel here. Uh, was this in the last Double Masters pack I got, or am I confusing it with someone else I saw opening a Double Masters pack? Either way, it's an indestructible artifact land that adds colorless to your mana pool. We got the Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, a blue plus four Merfolk Soldier with Flash. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic permanent you control. That would be an artifact, a legendary, or a saga, like it says uh, at the bottom here. And if you do, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And then we got Dread Return. Uh, when you return a target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, I should probably be opening up my soundboard right about now because we are getting to the uh, we're getting to the meat here. That's going to be uh, here. We go. Uh, we want to log into the soundboard here uh, just in case we get something good. So maybe I'm. Am I building maybe a little bit too much hype here? That could be, but you know, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. And maybe I should have been ready beforehand, but uh, what's uh, what's happening here? Okay, so let's see. We're getting a good look at Dread Return there in case you want to read it, I know, I'm sure. Okay, so just in case, just in case we've got something good here, let's see. I think we're onto our rare slot. We got Reshape, a sorcery. For blue, blue, and X, as an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice an artifact. Search a library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield. Straight onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. I'm not too thrilled about that. Maybe our other rare, because Double Masters has two rares, remember? Still time to salvage the pack here. Vengevine, a mythic. This is the first mythic I've ever pulled out of a Double Masters pack. It is a two green plus two. A 4-3 elemental. Whenever you cast a spell, if it's the second creature spell you cast this turn, you may return Vengevine from your graveyard to the battlefield. Interesting. Okay. You can bring this guy back. He's fun. Uh, I feel like he's not probably worth a whole lot, but uh, 
But still, easy to get back out onto the graveyard. I got a, I got a sound drop from Mr. Vengevine. Why don't, why don't you tell Danny, hey Danny DeVito, why don't you tell us how you feel about this card? <laughs> and there it is. All right, we got we got ourselves a mythic, but there's still time for more because we have the foil slot left to go. Here we've got a common fairy mechanist, blue plus three, two two fairy artificer with flying. And when fairy mechanist enters the battlefield, you look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from artifacts. Big deal here in double masters. And our second slot is also a con another driver of the dead, a duplicate. We got two drivers of the dead. Well, I don't think there are two steering wheels in the carriage of the dead, but uh, that's okay. And uh, what have we got here for our... We got a germ token for our for our token here. But yeah, we did okay today, I think. I don't think... I don't think Vingevine is really going to uh, really blow any doors off of our wallet here, despite being a mythic. But you know what? It is, in the end, a mythic. And we are always happy when we see that little orange symbol on a card so that's the that's the first mythic i've gotten out of a double masters pack despite the fact that uh two rares despite the fact that you get two rares out of each one the luck has just not been there although admittedly i haven't bought too many either because you know 15 dollars a pop i'm not exactly made of money but there we have it a good card contributed to the channel by our old friend parky Thanks so much for the contributed pack, sir. I appreciate it a lot. This is going into the binder. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, probably probably with a pack that I purchased next time. But uh, at the rate uh, people are showing their generosity. Who even knows, man? It's, it's, uh, it's going pretty good. This little We got a little train rolling here.